We are more than 20 years and counting into our current drought, which has been worsened by climate change, creating the driest conditions the lower Colorado River Basin has experienced in more than a millennia. Arizona was in a tier zero shortage for 2020 and 2021, meaning Central Arizona Project left water in Lake Mead that was otherwise allocated to Arizona. A weak winter runoff in 2021 left Lake Mead, the lower Colorado River Basin Reservoir, at dangerously low levels. So, less Colorado River water flowing downstream, less of a resource that has already been over-allocated. A Tier 1 shortage was enacted for 2022 to help protect Lake Mead from reaching a critically low level, substantially reducing Arizona's share to CAP's agricultural users in Maricopa, Pinal, and Pima counties even further. Because drought conditions are expected to continue indefinitely, we will be in a Tier 2A shortage for 2023. But more will need to be done the federal government has requested that the seven Colorado River Basin states create a new plan to leave more water in the river. Ultimately, this plan would need to involve Mexico as well. Exact numbers are still being negotiated, but it is expected Arizona's share will be reduced even further. Fortunately, along with CAP, many of Arizona's water users have been proactive in conserving water in many ways. But until drought conditions substantially improve, it's prudent for everyone to be focused on conserving water. Meanwhile, CAP will continue to plan for the future, looking to augment our supplies, negotiate conservation sharing agreements to keep more water in the Colorado River, and prepare to move non-Colorado River water through our system when approved. As Arizona faces a hotter and drier future, we are confident our history of successful collaboration with our diverse stakeholders will continue. Working together, we will make the best decisions to sustain Arizona's water supply and guide us into the future.